at the end of college realized that I hadn't been using my art at all and I really felt a lack in my life and I wanted to do something, really anything, with art and for God. After going to a pilgrimage in Poland, I fell in love with all of the art, just seeing how much beauty they put in their churches that we don't really do in America. It made my heart shift, almost like click into place of, God, if you're calling me to do it, like that is what I wanna do. So after I came home, I just started a website in Etsy and fully intending to just get a real job at the end of it. And then I just kept going because I fell in love with being a sacred artist and running a small business. I have a style for sure with my art, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's like modern sacred art in that I'm a modern artist painting today. I'm definitely inspired by the older practices of art, especially iconography and Michelangelo Renaissance type. In order to be an artist, you have to show up every day and it's a slow journey. And so many times I reflect that onto the prayer life where like if you're not going slowly but surely and like consistently, you don't grow closer in a relationship with God. And so like in the same way, like with the days or months when I don't paint, it's like you can tell that life is different and getting back into the rhythm of it gets me back in the rhythm of prayer. They like feed off each other the prayer and the art. Just growing deeper in prayer life and entering into the creative act itself it changed how I look about God with his creative side and how he created us out of nothing, loves us and like pours himself out into us. And then seeing that reflected in whenever I create, I go from absolutely nothing and just some materials and I create something.